this character here was created using text and then it generated a 3d model same as this oven text i typed it in and it came out as a 3d model So we're going to be using the recently released Rodan by Demos for text to 3D model. So let's kind of go through. We can see here we've got a whole bunch that uh, people have already made. Look, look character. Uh, prompt for generation. We can check all this. I mean, this is all kind of, you know, if you're using mid journey and all that kind of jazz. But uh, I mean, it's not bad. It's still pretty cool. Stylized human casual attire. Get stuffed. So let's do a text input. So we can do text if we want. I'm going to go um, stainless steel oven. Is that you spell oven? I don't know. I'm going to press plus sign. And what this is going to do is going to generate a thumbnail of what it wants to create. I'm going to give that a big fat tick, but we can also refresh it. Now we can keep going and adding in more, but I'm going to go generate because I want to generate an oven like, like that. So we'll just give it a sec. So I counted about 12 and this is what we got at the moment. Um, eh, you know what? It doesn't really match it. I can just go redo and then we can just keep on going redo until we actually hit something. So that there's looking a lot better. Um, I'm going to go for it. Let's go. Let's go confirm 10,000 polys. I think that should be fine. Yes. Symmetrical. I don't want it to be symmetrical. So now it's going to generate the 3D model. So let's just give it a sec. And so like that, we've got our 3D model. Now it needs a little bit of cleaning up in here. This section down here looks really nice. Um, material generation. Now this was pretty cool. So when uh, we were going through this, I can actually add in other images and it'll make a material for the oven based off the other image but for now i'm just going to go credit let's just kind of create it off this um picture now i can also go up into the top left we can go preview i can go geometry uh, we can go to wireframe so you can actually see what the wireframe is for the object and there's there's the texture it's not too bad um, I think having all this little text here has fluffed it up a little bit, but overall, it's not too bad. I was going to go, I mean, we can, let's just do a redo and we'll just see what happens. I mean, it's much of a muchness, but you know what? I'm just going to take it just kind of like move on. Let's go confirm. We're going to come down into the bottom here and we can download. Now, obviously we can download the base model, level of details, high poly. I'm just going to go the base model. Let's go OBJ. PBR shader, I'm just going to go 1K. Let's just go download. And then once it's downloaded, let's go into Blender and we'll just check it out. I mean, I'm expecting it to look like this anyway. Just looking at the textures, and I mean, they seem to have unwrapped quite nicely. I mean, <laughs> even UV unwrapping. That's pretty sweet. Metallic, normals. Nah, I don't know what to do with that one roughness i mean it's pretty grouse let's get it into blender and check it out and pretty much exactly what we saw earlier it looks it looks fairly decent um if we go into shading let's just have a look how the materials came in hunky dory like easy that's easy so i want to actually create a character now i'm going to go text input let's go humanoid rat wearing uh, desert survival outfit. Uh, let's go small. Human oid. Let's just generate a thumbnail when we see we can pull it out. Oh my goodness. I t yes. <laughs> uh, big plus. Let's go generate and let's just see what the character comes out as. So here we can see a little bit bigger of a picture of what we've asked for. That model looks so clean. I'm not even going to try and update it. I really like how it is. Obviously, we can add in more prompts to maybe refine it. 
Um, we've also got kind of like symmetric geometry, sharp edges, da 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 da. We can make it a game ready. It's a character. Awesome. I'm just going to confirm. I just want to create it. I don't want to make it symmetrical, so I'm just going to click no to that. Let's have a look. That. That's looking pretty good. I mean, we've got the tail protruding there. That's not too bad. Let's go into the wireframe. And you can see that the wireframe looks stinking amazing. Now, obviously, we can add in a picture. And what it does is when it's creating the material, we can actually attach a different kind of like color sets. So, for instance, um, let's give it a color set of, let's go to the Omniverse symbol. Why not? And we're just going to see what pulls out. Uh, let's go gen yellow would generate it. Why not? Probably won't use this one. I actually want to revert it back to this. But let's just let's just see what what comes out. I mean, what was I expecting? Let's just go back to this other character. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cool. Like obviously not full high poly. The hands here are a little bit off, but that's probably partly mesh's problem. Um, the belts here are a little bit off. The feet are a little bit off, but the face isn't too bad. I like how the hat's sitting directly on top, but it's kind of guesstimated what the backpack's going to look like. We can see the rat tail coming through here, but I mean, we saw that earlier. It's <laughs> pretty good. Uh, I'm going to confirm that puppy. Let it generate. And then I'm just going to download it. Let's download it. 1k. Good enough. Base model. Let's maybe just do a high poly for the sake of it. I'm going to go download. And then we'll download it. Bring it into Blender. Now into Blender. File. Import. Let's go into OBJ. Uh, wherever we were. Downloads. Rodan. Mouse. I'm going to select the high poly. Should we select both? See if it works. Nice. And then from here, let's just go into material mode. And we can see that... It's not bad. There are some artifacts here. I wonder if that's part of the mesh. Geometry data. Clear, custom, split, normal data. I hate you. <laughs> so the texture export wasn't the best. It's pretty shiny. I reckon if we go into shading. Uh, metallic. What if we just get rid of metallic? What has happened? It's still pretty smoothy. Bring that back into there. Color space. Non-color. Non-color. So I'm just trying to work out where the issue is. And I've got a feeling that it's this actual texture. So this one didn't work as well as I hoped. I wonder if the normal data, if we just remove normal data... Uh, all right, that's not too bad now. So the normal is a little bit off. I mean, that's okay. Let's bring that and that back up. A little bit shiny for my liking. So we'll just fix that with our color ramp. Put you into there. And I'm going to bring it down. Oops, come on, buddy. Just make that roughness a little bit stronger. Or if I made it, yeah, this way. But yeah, I think overall, it's pretty stinking good.